Good evening, and welcome to Snacky Buns Food Review. I have here, again, Mrs. B. She's back. back. <laughs> <laughs> um, I saw a comment, uh, or a couple comments actually, you guys were asking if I could talk a little bit more about my interests and kind of my personal life, which is pretty cool. I, you know, it makes me feel good that you guys are interested. And um, me and Mrs. B, we've been together for almost nine, nine years. Could you imagine that? Being with me for nine <laughs> years. And uh, so, you know, I brought her along because, you know, she did such a great job last time and she's a wonderful guest. So I thought, you know, to, as far as personal life goes, you know a lot of my personal life and, you know, maybe you have a story or two or... I don't yeah, know. Can, I, can I tell them how we met? Oh, Jesus. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, um, Snacky Buns and I actually met uh, on the boxing team. We used to box together. We're both on the boxing team in college. Um, and I don't think any of you... I don't think any of you know this, but he's actually a really good boxer, like oh. excellent boxer. Wow. Uh, he was like the best one on the team. He was like the coach's favorite. <laughs> uh, I'm not really so, sure about that. No, <laughs> I think, no, he was. I think that's kind of a little contested. And, but thank you, baby. Yeah. And I suck. <laughs> that's not so. true at all. That is not true at all. So no, 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 um, no, no, no. that's bullshit. So he has actually yeah. had a lot of boxing matches mm. and has won almost all of them um and i've had two and won both of them um and then i gave up because <laughs> i just i just did so i always like to say we can't all be undefeated <laughs> no she's selling herself short one of those was a tko i saw it <laughs> um she was really good and um just a you know, oh. my, 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 she, she dressed more goth back then. So I like to say my, my goth queen with lightning hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Um, and that's where we, uh, where we fell in love, right? We, our eyes met and... It was just... <laughs> they never said a, a goth girl and a country boy could end up together, but... Here we are. Here we are. <laughs> you know, she's kind of leaving out, I mean, thank you, baby, you're making this into a, a story that makes me look really good, but she didn't tell you all of it, because I, I didn't ask her out um, for like a couple months. She came on... Um, and uh on the on the team i was i was already on there for like a couple of years before then uh but she uh i asked her a couple months later when she was on on the team and um i asked her to go out with me on the weekend that my grandma, <laughs> was, grandma. In, was in town because i thought you know uh, kill two birds with one stone. You know, I can see my grandma and I can go on this first date <laughs> with this girl that I really liked. Um, and that just goes to show what my, my game was like. It was, it was pretty atrocious and I don't even, I can't even tell you what the reason was for that. But, uh, yeah. Were you a little bit weirded out that I asked you to go out on a date and with my grandma? Um, no, but I was pretty dumb back then, so <laughs> I probably should've. You should've been. seen the red flags. <laughs> yeah. Because that's pretty Inst psychotic. Yeah. yeah. Instead, I just spent the night and never went home, <laughs> so. <laughs> that is true. She moved in pretty, pretty quick. Um, and, uh, but I loved it. You know, I, mm -hmm. I, I love being around Mrs. <laughs> Snacky Buns, Mrs. BB. So, you know, um, but I, I remember uh, when we went on that date, um, I, I think 
I don't know, we, we took some sort of substance and um, I was a little whacked out. I think we we're both a little whacked out. And my my grandma, her husband was was eating these fries at dinner and he would take each individual fry and instead of just eating them like a normal person, he would suck out the soft part of the fry. And for some reason, like that's what I really remember about I that eve that. Uh, about that evening. It was a uh, it was really bizarre for many reasons. I mean, just the, yeah. it's already bizarre enough that I asked you on a first date with my grandma. To my defense, though, there were other people. Like, there were a couple cousins, and I think even my sister and her yeah. boyfriend at the time were there. It was like the whole big family thing. It was really weird. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'd say it's worked out, you know. Sorry, guys, that's my... My cat crying, he, uh, we took him out earlier on a walk, and he wants to go out again, but anyway, um, now that we've talked a little bit about our, my personal, our background, let's get into the review, shall we, All right? Um, we're gonna be reviewing this really spicy ramen, okay, it's called Bulldog Artificial I'm gonna put it right here. It is really spicy. That's Brittany right there. And um, I've had this before. I don't really enjoy it, honestly. I love it. It's so good. It's so delicious. And you can buy the sauce separate too. Um, you can either get the noodles or you can just get, uh, they sell a bottle that, um, I think I have some, maybe I can show it, but uh, it's really, really spicy, so. It's really painful. I mean, it, you're, you're tougher than me, apparently, because you, you can just eat this all day, but I... Uh, it does hurt, though. Yeah. It's, it's really tasty, but it does hurt. It's very spicy. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah, and they have a, a regular one, I think. Um, but this one is two times the spice, as you can see there, so. <laughs> Did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? Twice the spice. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Pretty. <laughs> All right, we are back. Um, the noodles are made. Um, and while I was making the noodles, I actually also grabbed the sauces I was talking about earlier. Um, so you can get them. In these bottles here uh, so this is the regular one that's just spicy this is the extreme spice and this is the kind um, that is in the packaged noodles that we're gonna be eating today so you can get these I love these I think they're great they're so tasty and you can put them on anything I like to add them in fried rice you can add them in tacos uh, spring rolls, just dipping sauce for gyoza, like anything you want. So I recommend these. So the one on the right is the extreme sauce? The, yeah, the it, red hot spice. So this is the stuff that we're, we're having now in the yeah. packet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then this one, the darker one. That's just the classic, the original. Class. So this isn't as hot? Not as hot. Okay. Which one it's, do you like better? It's still pretty spicy though. I don't know, honestly, um, realistically, I would probably go with the less spicy one just because this one is so spicy, like sometimes I can't even enjoy it because it's too hot, but they're both really tasty. They both taste really good. Awesome. And as far as the noodles go, I usually like to add um, chicken, like uh, green onions, uh, an egg, maybe some kewpie mayo. That makes it less spicy because there's just more more mass like to absorb <laughs> the spice but um today we're just gonna do the classic plain noodles um looks like that i'm doing a raw yeah just comes in with some little um comes with a packet of like uh furikake and and the spicy stuff so that's all that's in there but i will be adding sesame seeds because i think that's like a must have so i add a lot of sesame seeds to mine you want some beef? Would you please? Thank you. 
Yeah, please add a lot, because this is... <laughs> anything I can add to this, I will, because... I mean, believe me, I, I'm not like the typical white guy who just can't handle spicy food, right? I mean, No, I, you love spicy food. You, I love spicy food, too. Yeah, we both love spicy food, but this is very, very spicy. This is ridiculous. But it's really <laughs> good. I, I love this flavor. <laughs> It's spicy, but it's so, so good. So, I love it. Here we go. This is what it looks like, by the way. Let me get close to the camera. See there? Oh, yeah, I don't know how you can do that. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oof. Mm -hmm. Oof. Brittany, move. Brittany, move. Mmm. Oh, God. Oof. Very spicy. <coughs> oh, my God. It has a kick. Mm -hmm. For sure. I remember, uh, I think it was like the first time I ate this, I had it with milk, because they say that, you know, if you're supposed to have spicy food with yeah. milk, um, but uh, I just felt like really sick afterward, because I just had like a ton of milk. Oh, and a, and a, too a much dairy. Yeah. Um, another little fun fact about snacky buns is he's actually a real sorry <clears throat> a real country boy he grew up on a farm grew up riding horses um and yeah he's a real cowboy i wouldn't say that no my mom had horses but she has this fantasy to be this goth with a country boy yeah, and didn't you tell people? Fantasy come true. <laughs> At least you, Jesus is spicy. Oof. Didn't you tell people at, at one of your jobs that we met on Farmers Only? Yeah. Which is which is bullshit. Yeah, I used to tell people that because I had this fantasy about <laughs> us meeting on Farmers Only. Oh God! <laughs> now it's getting to you. Look at that. You're starting to sweat a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's spicy. But um, I actually, I mean, everyone has their own personal preferences and other people. I never really thought I was into white guys. I just never really dated any, um, wasn't really my thing, but country boys, I realize are an exception. Oh. So ladies, get yourself a country boy. <laughs> like really, they just, Hit different. Ugh. Ugh. Well, this country boy, you know, I can handle spice to extent, but this is just, this is a lot. Whew, I think I'm tapping out on this one. I think I've had enough. I have to say though, when, when we do do it with other stuff like chicken, or a creepy mayo and the egg. Uh -huh. It's much more enjoyable. And if you really like like painful, spicy stuff, um, get it. But um, if you don't enjoy tearing up and sweating and having your tongue on fire, um, then you're probably not gonna like it. So. It's so good though. Like it hurts. Like my mouth's on fire right now, but the flavor is just so tasty. I guess. <laughs> well, um, anything else about the about the noodles? No, you did a good job, though, baby. Thanks, baby. Well, I guess that's it, you guys. Well, thank you for watching. 